morning. We have now checked out of our accommodation in Monteverde and we are now heading on to our next destination here in Costa Rica. It's going to be probably about a three plus hour drive to get on to where we're heading. It's going to be pretty bumpy, but as long as we get there in one piece, then that's the key thing. We've just arrived to our guest house in La Fortuna, but today was just a travel day, so we have nothing else planned, meaning we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is just past 5.30 in the morning, so another early one, and we have stopped at Musmani to pick up some coffee and pastry for breakfast because we have about a 30 minute drive to Mystico Hanging Bridges. And we're hoping that while we're there, we get some amazing views of Arenal Volcano and maybe get to see some more animals. Let's go. Even in the park yet, and already we've seen our first koati of the day. So we just started off on the main trail, which should be about 3.2 kilometers or two miles long. Along the way, there should be six different hanging bridges to get some amazing viewpoints. There are two different trails here. Obviously, the main trail that we're on is longer, but there is a shorter one that you can do as well. And it costs $32 per person to get in. bridge number one and that's where we're going.
this is the final hanging bridge which takes you through to the exit of the park. However, we're not quite happy with the hall of wildlife that we've managed to see yet. So we're going to go this way, which takes you on a slightly shorter trail through the park. That will still bring us back to here, so we will do our final bridge, but we just want to see what we can see on the shorter trail first. believe that the parking lot is completely full now. When we first arrived three hours ago, we were literally the only car here. But anyway, I think it was totally worth going around the second time because we were definitely able to spot more wildlife. What do you think? I thought that was awesome. Uh, obviously we didn't see as kind of many of like the big ticket animals really. Um, so there weren't really sloths. We could hear monkeys, but sea monkeys so really today was much more about seeing some of the smaller animals like the birds and the frogs and all of that kind of stuff which was still really really cool and fundamentally just being in around this much amazing nature for a few hours is just so cool so as far as i'm concerned it was definitely a morning well spent and i got my 10,000 steps so you know i'm happy even better we are going to head back and do a spot of work, but the plan is to head out for dinner, so we will catch up with you then. We had a plan with regards to dinner. We had figured out a specific soda which had amazing prices and we were super excited to try some more local food from there, but it turns out that they only do breakfast and lunch service, so we've kind of missed the boat. We had to improvise and we found a very local family-run empanada shop not too far away from here. And the prices there are incredible as well. It is 1200 colonas per empanada. And so we ended up getting three, one chicken and two beef. The total was 3,600 colonas, which is under 10 Canadian dollars. I think it's like $9 maybe and we are very excited to try them. They have the choice of chicken and beef, and so me being very indecisive and quite hungry, I've gone for both. However, I can't quite remember which order this is, so I guess we'll find out very soon. Let's try this one. I have a feeling that this one's chicken, and it's really nice. My first remark, is that it's definitely a tad on the greasy side as you can probably tell from the batter but it's got really good seasoning really lovely flavors here i'm gonna thoroughly enjoy all of this in just a bit but before that i'm gonna try the other one mm. so on the inside here you got a bit of beef with a lot of extras in there and honestly it's so good. Like the blend of flavors that are there and again the seasoning is just perfect and honestly this is going to be a absolutely divine meal. Very very good choice indeed. And now after an absolutely delicious dinner we're going to call it a night and we will see you tomorrow when we have another awesome thing lined up in my Fortuna. Until next time though, take care. And keep smiling.